Sandra. Let's continue to keep competing. We just got to be better. We're pretty much in the fourth quarters, man. The series is coming down today. Um, it's been a competitive series, but they pulled away and played better than us in fourth quarters. Even in game one, even in game two. Um, you know, we just made you know, a couple more plays down the stretch, but um, they definitely played better than fourth. And, you know, we got to be better in that if we want to win game five. Wayne, you guys just being tired of you sitting there watching guys facing your career. What's on the line? No, I couldn't come and do media because Coach was on it. That's the only reason I was sitting there. Nothing. Getting ready to get on this plane and go to Philly. Has it been? You guys are always in great shape. Is it mental fatigue maybe kicking into the fourth quarter? That's kind of done you in. Uh, there's been some mental lapses. Um, you know, definitely in the fourth quarter. Um, on both ends of the floor. Um, and they've been a little stronger, you know, in those moments that we had. Um, which has allowed them to be a three one. If you guys are to be without Josh Richardson, what kind of loss is that? Well, it's, it's a big loss. I mean, at this point of the season, if you're losing anybody that's important to your team, that's in the rotation, um, it's a big loss for anyone. Um, but, you know, we move on to the next guy, and the next guy steps up and, and does his job. So we hope it's not the case. But if it is the case, we have to figure out, um, you know, who's going to step in and, and, and do their job. No one can be Josh. Um, and we go from there. What was the physical mistakes? How frustrating are mental lapses? Yeah, they frustrate in the moment. Frustrating when you watch it on film because you know better, you know. But that's that's a part of competition, you know. A lot of you ain't the only one who make them. Everybody in the league makes them, and um, you know. But once you have another opportunity, we're not. We think we, we we put ourselves in a situation where we have another opportunity, so we can try to correct our own. And uh, that's the only thing we can do. You know, this team we're playing is a very good team. You know, no, no way around. It's going to be a tough game all the way through. They know it from their side, um, but they've been better than us in four quarters and able to win games um, because of those, like I said, mental laps. And so, um, you know, for us, we want to change that. You know, it doesn't matter if we're in Miami or Philly, we feel we can win, but we have to change, you know, the things that, you know, has not allowed us to win certain games. On a lighter note, do you hope that Kevin Hart change the side again? Oh, I don't care. You know, it's not. You know, just having fun with that game, too. It's, um, it's not about him. It's about, um, it's about us, about these 15 guys, you know, going up there on the road for the team that's in a city that's looking to um, close us out, looking to win their first playoff series. And, um, you know, we got to do what, you know, most people don't think we can. And, um, you know, that's the good thing about this, you know, for all the guys in here that's, that's been underdogs their whole career um, from the position of getting here. So um, it's going to be a good environment to play in. It's going to be a good game to play in. Um, it just sucks that we got to wait that long to play in it. You want to play, you know, I want to get to that game at 8 o'clock now. Just um, flying up there and at night thinking about it all tonight and waking up tomorrow, going to shoot around. That's a drag. Let's get to the games and you know, let's play it. Fourth quarter is aside, the fact that you won up there in game two, can you look around to your guys and say, we've been there, we've done that, we've beaten them in their own building? Yeah, we had a conference there last time we was up there. We left out with a win and um, we approached the game the right way. And, um, like I said, they even played better than us in that fourth quarter, but we figured out ways to win the game. You know, we had, uh, we made more plays than them. Um, we made more plays than them up there to, you know, was able to win that game. And down here, they was able to make more plays than us, you know, to win the game. So, um, in the series, it's, it's, all, it's definitely closer than it looks normally, but at the end of the day, it's the first one of four. And uh, right now, they're, they're three, but we're trying to hold them off. We're trying to get two, um, and we got to play a great game to do that. Uh, I don't know, you know, Tim, it's, been, it's a lot of things. I mean, human nature, any guy that's down 3-0, 3-1, human nature um, is for you to doubt. It's going to be human nature. And anybody say they don't doubt their line. It's going to be a moment of doubt, a second of doubt. But you get over it. Um, you understand that you, you still have life, you still have another opportunity. And, you know, you want to do what you can to to win each possession, to win each quarter. Um, and at the end of the game, you want to be able to win the game. And that's all you're going to focus on. So it was tough after the last one, you know, going home yesterday, sitting around, you know, down 3-1. But today we come back in here, we learn from our mistakes. And now we prepare to play another game. And that doubt, um, you know, that you felt after the game was over with or that whatever creeped into anyone, it's got, it has to be gone.
you know, we have to move on to focusing on playing the game. And with this group of guys, I definitely feel comfortable and confident that we're going to go ahead and play hard. And too stubborn to even know you're down 3-1. So uh, from that standpoint, I'm confident in, in the energy and the effort we're going to bring. But, you know, this series is more than just that. You know, this series has been a, more, a lot about what we bring up here, too. And um, we got to be better up in the mind. Has, has this series unfolded one game at a time? Do you find the young guys leaning on you game by game as to how to approach them and the correct mindset they have? Well, I mean, I think we all lean on each other. You know, they, they lean on me in certain areas of experience, and I lean on them in certain areas of, of youth, <laughs> um, you know, and what they bring to the game. You know, this is... This has been total team effort either way, man. When the guy plays well and the guys play bad, we own this together. So they learn from me. They lean on me. I'm learning from them, leaning on them. And, um, you know, that's just the way it is here. That's just the culture here. Um, and I, I, they need me to do what I do, and I need them to do what they do. And whatever we do, let's, let's hopefully do it together and do it better um, to be able to get back on that plane uh, when we leave Philly, um, hopefully with a win, to prepare for the next one. Actually, he hit it pretty good. I mean, it was, even though my team was the only one that can contest to it, I actually hit it pretty good. Thank you, thank, thank you guys.